Hello and welcome to United Times Television, a station that is dedicated to disseminating information to you the moment they are happening. So today we are at Gracious Hotel where we'll be having a press release by the National Tax Force and illegal smuggling of arms. Stay tuned. Why we are calling Mr. President is for us to talk closer, that we can walk hand in hand. We are not even looking for enough pressure, but we want to bring this concept close. That I can tell you one thing people should understand. National Task Force is the only organization that can solve our problem today. The Director General of the National Tax Force, Chief Osita Okereke, says that the organization is out to provide grassroots security to Nigerians. He also commends the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, for his efforts to ensure peace in the country. This he discloses at a press release in Gracious Hotel, Abuja, where the body converged to mark the victory following the judgment of the High Court 32 by the presiding judge, Justice Haliru Yusuf. Justice Haliru debunked the accusations laid against Chief Osita Okereke today by the former Board of Trustee Chairman of Nat Force, saying that the accused was not given fair hearing. He further says that the seven national newspapers who publish the accusations should pay the sum of 5 million naira for damages to Chief Osita Okereke. Prior to this is the internal challenges in the National Tax Force. Members of the NAT Force rejoices at the victory of today. By the judgment today that we have won, I don't think we are going back again. We are only going from. So we have very much hope because there are some clashes in the organization and it has been taken to court. And now we are so successful that our DG, Mr. Sita Okereke, Doctor, has wounded us. The National Tax Force was established on 16th July 2010 to combat illegal importation of small arms, light weapons, and pipeline vandalism in Nigeria. Bella Kobe for United Times. <laughs>